Look, how heroic he comes idiot. across. <laughs> you didn't plan any protests against him, did you? So communism is now all the rage. One of many sentences over the last three years I never thought I'd say. You've been interviewed in Teen Vogue about it. Um, and you have produced, rather helpfully, <laughs> yeah. um, this T-shirt. Can is you read it? This just a prototype, yeah, just, you... to clear. I, I'm li just to be just clear. Just to be clear. I'm literally a communist. Yeah. Socialism has become hip and trendy again. Describing oneself as a socialist or a communist is now considered cool and edgy. Socialists usually react with genuine irritation when an opponent brings up an example of socialism in action. They believe that socialism is a great idea which has just always been distorted and corrupted in practice. They believe that socialism could work provided it is done properly. It has just never really been tried. This is not a new debate. In fact, there was once a general election which was fought along precisely those lines. I am talking about the 1990 general election in East Germany. This was the first free and fair election in the history of the German Democratic Republic. The Berlin Wall had just fallen. The old elites had resigned. New political parties sprang up spontaneously. The GDR had become a democracy, but it was still a socialist country. As in any general election, the parties differed on many issues, but broadly speaking, there were two sides. One side argued that socialism had its chance. It was time to try something else. The other side argued that it was not socialism which had failed. It was just one particular version of socialism, namely the authoritarian, technocratic, hierarchical, elitist socialism adopted from the Soviet Union. So what was the alternative that these socialist reformers had in mind? They argued that socialism does not mean an economy run by a technocratic elite. It meant the precise opposite, democratizing the economy, empowering ordinary workers. Sound familiar? In the East German election of 1990, the socialist reformers suffered a crushing defeat. The rest is history. But we could imagine a version of history in which the socialist side had won the election. What would have happened then? This is the question I explore in my new paper, The Mirage of Democratic Socialism, an Alternative History. I'm describing a parallel universe in which German reunification never happens. Instead, the GDR continues to exist as a sovereign socialist country which tries to reinvent itself. It tries to move away from the old Soviet-inspired, top-down version of socialism and build an egalitarian, participatory, bottom-up version of socialism instead. The paper is, of course, not really about the GDR. It is a thought experiment about the true nature of socialism. Socialists claim that previous versions of socialism went wrong because of external constraints or because it happened in the wrong place, or because the wrong people took over, and so on. Fair enough. Let's do a thought experiment then, in which we just assume all those factors away. Let's do a thought experiment of a socialism led by genuine idealists and under idealized conditions. And let's see how that turns out.